I'm meteorologist Shay Ryan with an update on uh, Hurricane Irma. What we're seeing right now are 175 mile per hour maximum sustained winds with higher gusts. The eye of the storm is just north of the Dominican Republic right now. It is approaching the Turks and Caicos and we'll get there a little later this evening and it will arrive as a cat five storm. As we continue on the path, it does still uh, look like it'll make that right hand turn or that northerly turn sometime on Saturday. Again, the timing on Saturday will determine how far east or west it will end up being from where this center line is uh, right now. So there's still a big line of uh, or big cone of uncertainty as it gets closer to the state of Florida, but it will become more defined as we get closer to Saturday. So nothing has changed there. I do want to show you uh, what we're looking at for potential tracks. When you look at the yellow circle, that's the Euro, which is our most reliable model and the second most reliable uh, often thought is the GFS. They're in pretty good agreement until they start to approach Florida. At this point, the Euro stays just inland as it skirts the Florida coast, whereas the Euro or the uh, GFS stays just offshore. Then they both seem to come in agreement again as they head back out into the Atlantic and, uh, and then make landfall either in uh, northern coast of Georgia or uh, South Carolina's coastline in the days ahead. So again, we are still seeing some pretty good agreement in the models, which tends to give us more confidence in the final track. However, it won't all be said and done until we get a little closer uh, over the next couple of days as far as the impacts on Florida. Right now, the models are coming in for the wind wave heights here even on the Tampa side it looks like we could see some wave heights above four feet but of course the most extreme will be on the east coast of Florida where those wave heights are coming up uh, into what could be the 30 to 40 uh, foot range offshore and then of course inland we're looking at storm surge uh, that will be piling up against the coastline and at this point the estimates are between five to ten foot storm surge so we're continuing to get new information all the time and of course we'll keep you posted every step Step of the way you can get more updates on abcactionnews.com our facebook and twitter pages as well